Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gents. My name is Alex, and I'm here with James. Uh, hello. Hello, indeed. Hello. So this episode's subject comes in from Anonymous. James Blab, is James a criminal? Um, <laughs> how to word this? Hmm. Well, the police haven't caught me yet, so oh, no, I'm not. That was you on the mini moto in the field, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that, that happened a long time ago. It, it shouldn't... Wait, what? You're not, you didn't even... Is James... It should be a yes or no answer. Yes or no? I was a no until they catch me. <laughs> and I never knew this. So you've been stealing Freddos from Tesco? <laughs> um, no, I'm not, I'm not a criminal, I wouldn't say. But I guess... A, a little bit of a deviant. A deviant art. Well, speeding isn't exactly legal, I suppose. Oh, speeding. Yeah. You're like, um... Rocket boot. Man, on a motorbike, like on, on you know, motorbike. reeling at 100 miles an hour down a 30. I imagine. What yeah. was the thing you said earlier about lifting your wheel, whatever? You said something funny about lifting up your bike wheel, and that was like a no. We were hold, I was holding your weight, and you said, "Like, is this all you lift?" And I said, "I lift my front wheel when I'm oh, on my yeah. bike." <laughs> so I'm not, not a criminal. You're not a criminal. You never stolen a Fredo or Flump. No, I'm not like some of those. Stuff. Um, what are they called millions. Millions, blimmin' me now. They don't sell them in Tesco's anymore. They're not. No, there's no no idea. If you don't know people in America, millions are like these weird little chubby balls. Like it's fucking balls. weird. It's like a big tube that's like full of little balls. It's like packed to the brim with these little balls of like sugar, different flavors. What different flavors? You probably like there's a there was a strawberry one. <clears> there were loads of different ones. There was like a purple one. So bad. For, it was pretty much like they're like still tasty though. Absorbing sugar into your it's like condensed sugar sort of funneled into you still not as bad as drinking an energy drink probably not make you less mental I don't know those those artificial colourings and things will probably make you go fucking bizarre they have they have some weird sweets here don't they yeah but our sweets compared to American sweets are kind of funny like America you everything about American food is just shit <laughs> oh you, you open the flood, floodgates there well you mean they're American like sweets confectionery yeah they're not as mad about it. They like their Oreos and that sort of that sort of business. But when it comes to like sweets and chocolate, it's more England Hershey's versus Cadbury. Cadbury. Cadbury every time. Every. Um, uh, I went to Hershey's. Is that it? Or is it Hershey's? I, don't know. I think it's Hershey's. I don't know. I've tried it before. It tasted like baby sick. Not that I know what baby sick it tastes tasted like. It tasted fucking dreadful. It tastes like sick. Should we um, turn this video into one about guns? Oh Jesus! Might as well. Is this it? Is this the time? You think? Open the floodgates. Quickly then. This is this is like been the most crazy episode. Look, criminals, sweets, then American sweets, Freddos, mass shootings, and the mass shooting. Okay, so it's fucking stupid. Why the fuck do you have guns, you stupid dark fucking cunts? <laughs> okay, I'll step start. it back a second. Because okay, okay. if you don't know, I, I don't know how you you wouldn't know at this point, but there's been another school shooting in Oregon, America's, in America, Oregon yeah. somewhere, on the university campus, I believe. Um, there was some controversy that the the dude like posted it. On he posted 4chan. it. He posted it on on four chan. Yeah. He, he posted what um thread did he post it in? I know, but he posted yeah, a Pepe picture, so you kind of know he's a bit. Yeah, he posted like this a uh, picture, and it said like, "Don't go to school in if you're in the West." If something, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and then, and then he fucking murdered a bunch of um, classmates. Or I, I don't really know his motivation. I can't. When I read the article, they didn't say anything apart from the fact that it happened. Yeah, but but there's been more than one a day. What in America? More than one mass shooting a day. There's been like 240 odd this year. I don't know, but it's, it's a fucking high number. I mean, uh, before we just quickly say, if if you're um for gun control or no for what do you call it, gun liberty or whatever you want to call gun it, gun laws, whatever you want to call it, yeah. If you wanna if you wanna keep if you wanna keep your guns, whatever. My freedom. Can you, in your freedom. Can you, can you just like tell me why in the comments? I'm I'm genuinely curious why you would be against any form of gun control. I just wanna. Just want to put that out there. Just want to know the other side of the argument here, because to me, it seemed in our safe England, in the UK, we, we're walking down the street, you know, worrying about having a gun pulled on you is not really something we have to think about. Or knives. I've never once walked down the street here and think I'm going to get stabbed. We're, like, we're in a pretty sheltered place, though, considering. Yeah, but still, maybe in like, London you, you yeah. might consider it, but like out here, it's pretty. Peaceful, it's not so. really a fear. You even think about it. it doesn't come across your mind at all. Mm. I let alone if you had a fucking kid in a school, like it shouldn't it shouldn't be any parent's fear 
they get, their that, son's going to get fucking shot their down. Their fucking yeah. kid might just get shot down as some mass, like, crazy murder thing. Yeah. There's, there's no positives to having them. It hasn't proved having them there solves anything. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to understand why people think it's necessary to have... Am I correct in saying they're, like, high-powered, pretty serious guns? Yes, they can be. Like, freely available? Yeah. Like, they've got those conventions where you walk in, you buy a gun, that's it. I, it it just seems like a, f- a fucking mad, a mad town. It is whole thing. You just pick up a gun. I like America, but this seems like the biggest thing. Like, there's no, there's no excuse. If you think it's okay to have freedom of buying guns at the cost of having all these fucking mass shootings all the time, then you're a douche. But basically, it's like, if you think that's a good enough reason for why you should be able to own a gun or whatever at the cost of all this, then, I mean, is that really worth it? It's not. You say, some of these people say, oh, it's, we need some way to f- to fight the government for when they want to do whatever to us. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, that like in, happen. you know, the majority of the rest of the world, that all of Europe, the UK, these places that don't have guns. Oh, we're really oppressed by our government, aren't we? That's, that's not an excuse as far as I'm concerned. And it's kind of a fault on the um, American government side because they need to pull their fucking finger out of the ass. In well, America, I, wasn't at it? At the same time, though, shooting? I get why they just can't. Yeah. Because, like, guns are so entwined into politics over there that so much money is being thrown, it's like, in the system. I don't I don't know what can be done at this point. And you can't, you can't give someone and then take it away. I don't know. It would be, a, it would, it would just end up in so much bullshit like if they tried taking guns away from people because they're pretty serious about yeah you, it's, it's unfixable this way it's going to take fa- it'll like take a long years. it's going to take a very long ass time to get that taste time. yeah I'm, I'm thinking about doing a I hate everything about about the gun thing you're not going I, to no I'm thinking about do it. it yeah even if some people I just need to hear both sides of the argument first I obviously have my opinion my opinion I'm pretty strong my opinion is kind of the same it's, it's I, yeah, I get farmers and people like that owning guns. That makes sense. Say so if that here as well, we have guns in this country. Yeah, we have guns. You have to have a license and you have to go through all the yeah, procedures. Plenty of farmers have them and whatnot, but you hunters who do like pheasants. When was the last time there was a mass shooting in England that wasn't? Was there ever one? The last one was like well, they're always times. They're always linked to sort of terrorists and things. Yeah. which I mean, you can't really prevent that, can you? That's going to happen. Yeah, if, day and day, if so. someone wants to just terrorist, it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, we don't really have school shootings there or anything like that. Cinema shootings, you know, just cr- crazy bollocks like that. You would have th- the, the biggest thing is like in Australia there was a sh- there was a mass shooting in the late nineties, I think it was. Then guess what? The uh, government enforced a more strict gun policy. They, oh, and they surprise, surprise, it, yeah. surprise, surprise! There hasn't been another mass shooting since then. Huh? Weird that. It fixed the problem. Maybe that'll be a, maybe it'll be an idea to learn from it. That's all I'm saying. So just, yeah, maybe yeah. So just say in the comments whatever. So bringing it back round. You're not a criminal, are you? Don't think so. I haven't caught you yet. No, not yet. They never will. Never will. Because uh, when I speed, I hold a, a massive minion toy up over my face. <laughs> so <I'm> not, not <laughs> I can't me. see you. Yeah. All right then. I so. stick minion stickers over my number plate as well. <laughs> never What's actually me. stopping you from doing that? Covering your Nothing. If you do it at night, the police can't see the number, can they? Because if you have lights turned yeah. off, well, you're safe. You just put fucking minion stickers all over it. Yeah. How? What would they do? Like a speed camera would take a picture of you. They wouldn't. They, they wouldn't be able to know who it was. It wouldn't be able to send anywhere. So they just have the speed and ticket for someone. Yeah. And they don't know where to go. They'd probably like pour millions of dollars into trying to find the minion, the minion racer or whatever. Just waste <laughs> time and government resources and finally find out. That, that's that's what England has to worry about, not you speeders, know, gun that's control. It, yeah, it's about people who m- s- grow weed in their shed. <laughs> that's Which it. is very harmful, of course, to the yes. entire um, English community. It's uh, tearing us apart. No, the biggest crime here, Alex, is uh, people moving your wheelie bin. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> how how inhumane? My my wheelie bin does not deserve that treatment. Fucking English people, man. They are got absolute madmen. I can always, I can always pull the card out of it. Oh, I'm not actually. I wasn't even born here, so I can make fun of it all I want. Well, my mum grew up in Australia. Yeah, but you were born here, weren't you? I was indeed born here. I was actually <laughs> born in Slough. You're like the most English person on the planet. So. Because I wear, ha- because I wear baggy jeans and white sneakers, and love chips. It's like what you eat, isn't it? Chips. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, um, yeah, I suppose so. Right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, I was born in... Uh, I was born in an Indian hospital in Slough. The fuck kind of trivia is that? I don't know. Come but on, Noah. Actually, the, the roots of my family go back to Ireland and France. Are, oh, the is, boy. That is an interesting The boy is Irish and French. James, French. I don't want any of them. Can you stop burning it, please? How is it ruined? So, yeah, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out other videos and leave suggestions for future job labs. We'll see you next time. Isn't this week lovely, Alex? You look exactly like Tommy Wazoo. It's very creepy. And I fucking hate it. the room. It makes me cringe. I love the room. Oh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.